to take matters into their own hands. Len? That's right. They are certainly fed up with all of the trash and the weeds and uh, the fire hazards and the blight. And uh, they say that uh, Caltrans and the city of San Jose basically share the blame for not caring enough about these problems that they say affect their business. So they will take matters into their own hands starting tomorrow morning. This was this trash is in here in the last week. Garden City construction owner Jim Salata says he can't wait any longer for the city of San Jose and Caltrans to clean up the freeway ramps around his business. Basic level of service that we're not getting as a taxpayer. Trash everywhere in the city. People come to town. Longtime San Jose residents disappointed. He points to this ramp from South First Street onto 280 as a prime example. There was a recent brush fire here that burned through tall weeds, brush, and low hanging trees, threatening his business and others across the street. Well, I'm a firm believer in the broken windows theory. If you don't fix these things, they compound themselves. And that's exactly what happens. So people feel like they can throw trash here because the trees aren't trimmed and things are burnt. Caltrans says it has stopped removing homeless encampments from the freeways because of COVID, but now garbage from those camps is piling up, some on state property, some apparently on adjacent city sidewalks. But it's not just trash. Weeds and bushes are so overgrown, some are creeping into the lanes as on this ramp between southbound 87 to southbound 280. We worry about it all the time. Uh, Eric Anninson just started a microbrewery across the street from one troubled ramp. He says it's bad for business. We get a lot of travelers coming into our tap room trying to experience a piece of San Jose, and it does feel like a bad representation to have those overgrown or uh, the trash in the streets. It is kind of a bummer. For Jim Salata, it's a call to action. He's organizing a volunteer effort with his co-workers and neighbors to clean up trash, trim trees and brush, and do what he says the state and local governments should do but aren't. We'll bring a chainsaw. We'll, you know, cut the dead. The dead limb fell off yesterday over here. We'll raise the canopy, clean this up, and try to prevent the fire hazard because a Caltrans, a city, are feckless and can't get it done. I guess we're just going to have to do it ourselves. Plot is tenacity, Lynn, but the city, Caltrans, are they saying anything about this? Well, uh, it's interesting. I did call Caltrans and I heard back from one Caltrans spokesperson out of Sacramento who said that uh, basically they can't clean up the camps right now because of COVID. Uh, but when I asked about the trash and the weeds and the basic maintenance that uh, you heard about uh, being brought up today, he said I'd have to talk to another spokesperson. Uh, and so I've been going back and forth with, with that person. And uh, as of this moment, I still don't have any answers. I just talked to him on the phone a few minutes ago. He said he was pushing send on the email, but it hasn't arrived. So we don't have any answers despite a long day of checking. As for the city of San Jose, they're referring everything to Caltrans. So you can see how the frustration is building up with a lot of the residents here. Yeah, you can see why they took matters into their own hands. All right, Len Ramirez in San Jose. Thanks so much. Yeah.